Hello everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Today I've got another unboxing video. Surprise, surprise, right? Well, actually I'm going to be showing off what I got from Blu-ray Tuesday and then a package from Orbit DVD and one thing from Amazon. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys what I got right after this. Alright, so we're back and I'm going to be diving into what I got last night, yesterday from Blu-ray Tuesday. I got some stuff at Best Buy, some stuff came from Amazon. I was also on Ken's live stream on Mid-Level Media, so go check that out. It was a lot of fun. Had a ton of fun with the panel, the guests, the chat. It was always a good time. Live streams are always a blast. It's honestly kind of like every live stream is usually the highlight of my month. Um, but yeah, if you're, you're here for the first time, welcome. Appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully you enjoy the video. If you like it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe on the way out and hit that bell notification, of course. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start with something I got from a uh, Arrow video. This came from Amazon though. It is Sh a nightmare at noon. I don't know much about this. I actually bought these first two titles I'm going to show off kind of on an impulse and I, I kind of regret it. Um, I guess that's like fear of missing out kind of got to me i don't know why because this doesn't have a slip or anything anyway so i don't know why i really acted on impulse but this one sounds decent so hopefully i enjoy it so there's that one nightmare new never heard of it never seen it but i was scrolling blu-ray.com like right sunday night and i ended up ordering it from amazon so and then the leech the leech i believe is how you pronounce it but yeah um never seen this one either uh, it's kind of another impulse buy here. Uh, yeah, so came with the slip cover. Um, I just love Arrow Video so much, so it's hard to pass up some of these titles from them. But, you know. All right, next up we have got the Mad God Steelbook. This came from RLJE, um, but it, obviously I ordered it from Amazon. It is a steelbook. That's what it looks like. Uh, there's your J card on the back of it there. And uh, I know Ken the other night got it and he did kind of an unboxing of it. So very nice steel book, very cool looking. Um, I'm a big fan of RLJE. They've done a few steel books. I'll probably have to grab the slip cover of this as well. I just really like what RLJE is doing and I've heard this movie is pretty batshit crazy. So looking forward to checking that out at some point. Uh, and then my day yesterday was a nightmare from hell, I swear, with Best Buy. Um, I did store pickup. I got three things and supposedly they tried to tell me I did store pickup at three different locations for three different movies. So I went to two locations and I was like, listen, I was like, I already paid for it. Just let me buy the thing. Like, let me just get it, you know? And, and then when I updated the, I wanted to change the, um, location to pick it up from, it said like, update your payment method. And I was like, I already paid in full for these. It was a nightmare I called Best Buy. Their customer service is absolutely trash now. Best Buy has just gone so far down the drain. When you're on the floor looking around, none of the stores by me have people on the floor. I really am kind of like sick of Best Buy. I don't like pre-ordering from them because you get damaged copies. And then I also got charged like, oh, my buddy Mike knows all about that story. They charged my card once. For something I already paid for like a month before and then they charged it again and they held it for like five days the the charges and it was like over a hundred dollars I lost my mind on them and then this came with a spine slash so I'm keeping it sealed I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get another copy hopefully um, hopefully they're not sold out you know yeah not happy but uh, so this is the Pulp Fiction Steelbook there's the back of it with the J card. So yeah, not a very good experience with Best Buy yesterday, today, whatever. I'm recording this late at night. It's technically two, Wednesday morning now. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get a video out there. I got a client early in the morning and I got to watch my Christmas movie. So barely any sleep for me, but I try to produce content. If I don't at certain times, usually in the middle of the night, I'm just not going to get around to it. Um, 
so I don't very I don't really sleep a whole lot <laughs> but that's okay right you sleep when you're dead they say so yeah Pulp Fiction Steelbook looking forward to chugging that 4k out I've seen all the Tarantino movies I love Quentin Tarantino um great movies great dialogue that one's a lot of fun so looking forward to checking out that transfer on 4k and then uh we've got clerks 2 the lion's gate the newest slip like steel book with the slip cover from lion's gate this is probably looks like it is the best condition i think uh nope you know what there's a tiny <laughs> the i was just talking about this on ken's stream there's a tiny crack on the plastic right there the people some some people complain about the um the cardboard slip covers on steel books i don't mind it um and i love these too but these plastic slip covers on these steel books come damaged a lot cracked corners my buddy fish literally told me a story he opened it up at the store and then when he got in the car realized that the his steel book was the plastic was cracked so he went to a whole nother location it's crazy what we do for a good copy isn't it um i'm trying to get less crazy about things like that uh, I don't, I'm not going to throw a fit about that. I'm just going to keep it. Uh, I'm not going to go through hoops trying to get another one, but it is a little frustrating for sure. So there's Clerks 3, Steelbook. I really like that Steelbook. Obviously it's Lionsgate. They're doing great work. All right, next up we've got this Top Gun Maverick Super Fan Collection. Ultimate Collector's Edition, Limited Edition Gift Set it's called. So, yeah ultimate collectors limited edition gift set so here's the back of it that's what's going to come with it okay i'm not going to unbox it right right now i've actually recently spoke about this um with me moving and everything like that Ooh, that box is a little smashed up right there but another thing like i'm just not i used to be so picky about stuff like that i just don't I had this conversation with Ken and it's just some things just aren't worth it anymore, especially when you start to dive into so many movies. It's like certain you got to pick and choose your battles. What's worth returning and, and freaking out over. If you get another one easy, do it. But sometimes you return it and you get a worse copy. Um, but yes, uh, if you want to see an unboxing of this video, I'm going to link up my good friend Pops Movie Dungeons video. He just did a video last night on this unboxing it. It's a great video. I watched it because I'm not going to unbox this right now. With me moving, I'm keeping a lot of my stuff sealed for extra protection while I move. I do have bubble wrap in the boxes and things like that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep everything sealed for the, at the, you know, for the time being right now. Um, and some stuff I do like keeping sealed. It just depends. If there's digital copies sitting in there, I always say there's money sitting inside the movie, so I like to open it up. That's just my philosophy. I have a buddy, sells and buys all my digital copies off me. So very appreciative of that. Thank you so much, Johnny. Um, but yeah, this Top Gun set, if you wanna watch this unboxing video, I'm going to hit that link, hit the link in the description down below. It's gonna be for Pops Movie Dungeons channel. If you're not subscribed, it's your perfect opportunity to go subscribe to his channel, but go check out that video. Love the guy to death, and uh, it's a great video, great unboxing. And uh, yeah, so go check out that video. It'll be in the description down below. All right, next up, let's get into what I got from Amazon. Uh, another thing I'm going to keep sealed. So this finally went on sale. Uh, funny story, I was up at like, because once again, I'm up all hours of the night. It was like four in the morning. I was getting ready to catch a few hours of sleep. And uh, I was on Blu-ray.com and I saw this go up for sale. And I've missed out on this so many times. I never wanted to pull the trigger on it for the $95 it was, things like that. And so I finally got it, I think, what, $47 or something like that on sale. I think it might still be on sale, so go grab that if you missed out. Also, the Groovy Collection of Evil Dead, I think that's on sale. So that's from Amazon. Both of these things are over there on Amazon uh, if you're watching this right now. I think they're still on sale, but uh, when I post it. So yeah, Resident Evil, very happy to have this set. It's gorgeous. It reminded me of the Underworld set, which I believe are what? Both Sony, potentially. Yeah, Sony, I think. So yeah, very nice set. Um, very happy to have this. But yeah, I grabbed it. And then it's funny because my buddy Fish like messaged me the next morning. And he's like, hey, this is, you know, that Resident Evil set's on sale. I was like, I already ordered it. <laughs> I didn't waste any time. So I'm very happy to have that extremely nice finally got it i have been like the last person to get that all right next up we've got some uh different bubble wrap here uh let me pull these out before i damage them or something like that all right so i grabbed some stuff from orbit dvd recently 
Uh, and then I pulled the trigger on another sale, like another order from Orbit DVD before this one even came. So hopefully next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday, I'll have another video of an unboxing of my next Grindhouse video haul and also an Orbit DVD haul. So stay tuned for that, hopefully in a couple days or next week or so. But let's go ahead and get into what I grabbed from this uh, Orbit DVD. This is my first time ordering from them. So very excited. This I believe is sold out now, but it is the US release. Uh, it is 101 Films. That's what it's gonna look like. Uh, it's kind of weird because I have, so Ghostwatch and I believe the last um, broadcast are both US and UK releases. And uh, this ghost watch here, it's kind of my first one that's not a UK, but it's kind of nice. Um, I have a region free player, so my OCD bothers me to, that now I have all these UK releases from them and then this one's not, but uh, it is numbered spine, it's number 28. There's the front of that, there's the side, side of the spine right there. It's cool they put the year. I've never heard of this movie, never seen it obviously. Um, but yeah, this came in perfect condition. So this is my first time ordering from Orbit. I've heard great things. Very happy about that. Came in perfect condition. All right, next up, I grabbed a couple things from some first time labels for myself. So uh, I just wanted to get my first, oh wow, this is just like Arrow Video with that spine right there. So this is Sleepwalkers. I do own this from Screen Factory, but it is my first Eureka uh, I believe it's Eureka Entertainment, but yeah, Eureka. It's my first Eureka title. They're a UK company. Uh, there's your back of it right there. It says Eureka, and then also your spine will say Eureka right there. That's, I think all their titles will say that. Very nice slipcover. Very Arrow Video-like um, with this. I mean, it is exactly like Arrow Video. Ah, uh, yeah. Very excited to have that and start to dabble into a new label like Eureka. So we'll see. We'll see what I choose to get next from them. They got some nice slip covers out there. A lot of movies I already own, but still. Uh, let's get into this 88 Films title next. Uh, this is a slip box. Jeez, I really thought this would be, you know, a slip cover, but wow. So we got Killer's Moon. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about this one. Uh, this, I thought it was a slip cover. But it looked awesome. It looked really cool, the slipcover. I remember seeing this like a couple months ago out and it was coming out and I didn't know if it would come with a slip and then on Orbit DVD, I, I decided to finally grab it. So I got this and uh, yeah, I'll be looking forward to checking that out. It is 88 films in case you weren't sure. There's 88 films right there. So it's very much like the um, Drive 4K that 88 films put out and that is uh, UK, but uh, 88 films has also dabbled into the US as well all right the next two are going to be from another new label that i've never ordered from but i loved the slip cover on these very excited there's no numbers on the spine but very excited to start dabbling into this label as well and huge shout out to my buddy nick over at movie av impulse that's my guy he is a massive fan this might be one of his favorite films of all time i bet he is just just over the moon right now that I finally got this. Um, I'm definitely going to have to check this one out. So it's not going to get boxed up. Uh, I'm going to have to check this one out ASAP before I go ahead and box it up. He is a big fan of the sadness. Uh, I would love to have the 4K Steelbook or 4K Digibook of it. Um, but this will have to do for now. I'll check it out. Uh, like I said, it's Raven Banner. That's the new label that I'm ordering from now here. So it says Raven Banner right there. They've got some awesome slip covers, but yeah, if you've seen The Sadness, let me know. It says The Sadness is the most violent and depraved zombie movie ever made. I really liked Train to Busan, so I'm hoping it's as good or if not better than that. Um, but yeah, I know I recommended Train to Busan to Nick. I'm hoping he's checked that out by now. He'll probably leave a comment down below, and he'll probably watch it on his way to work, of course. But yes, uh, Nick, I finally grabbed it. All right, last but not least, I just love this slip cover. It's definitely the weakest in the franchise, but this movie's awesome. Um, he, a little recommendation, movie recommendation. I always enjoy recommending movies to Holland Oates because he's always a supporter of everyone's channel, always watches their videos, and always actually watches recommendations. So Holland, if you haven't seen the Hatchet franchise, write it down, you're gonna check it out. 
this is the fourth one in the Hatchet franchise. It's not nearly as good as the first three. That first one is probably the best one, but they are gory, they're fun, they're violent, they're just ridiculous, and uh, this slipcover is just absolutely incredible. It's just the coolest slip, one of the coolest slipcovers I'd ever seen. Shout out to my buddy Ryan over at Disconnected. He's actually the one who introduced me to this label and uh, probably started another new addiction. So thanks a lot for that. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to have this. And look at the back of this. Tell me that's not awesome. I mean, you know, once again, slip. this art is subjective, right? So, you know, some people might not enjoy it. I think that is so cool. Um, and then that's your original artwork. And I already have this Blu-ray, but you know, you know how collectors are. New label, I'm gonna start collecting some titles of. I just love it. So very excited to have that. That is everything I grabbed. Uh, I'm excited to get into my next Orbit DVD package and Grindhouse should come right around that same time. I placed an order with both of those uh, companies. So uh, the only company I've still yet to order from is Diabolic now, but with Grindhouse and Orbit, um, I think I'm gonna start ordering from Orbit a ton now. I'm really happy with this, this package. It came fast. They do free shipping if you order over three titles. Um, they do not charge you even for like two day shipping. So it's great. Um, yeah, Orbit's great. Everything came in good condition. Very happy. I've heard he's got great customer service over there. So shout out to him. Um, I'm probably going to start ordering more from him. Uh, a little bit less from Grindhouse, to be honest with you. If Orbit has it, I'm sticking with Orbit now. Um, but I'll still order from Grindhouse. But let me know how diabolic is. I might dabble into that. So... Uh, this is how it came. He's got the bubble wrap like this, which is probably even better bubble wrap, to be honest. It's more kind of thicker packaging. Um, but yes, that's everything. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully everybody, like I said, has been doing well, enjoying, you know, 25 days of Christmas. If you watch Christmas movies or anything like that, I uh, appreciate everybody's support, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'm just overwhelmed by the amount of support all the time by everybody. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video and like I said, if you want to watch that unboxing of that Top Gun set Go check out Pops Movie Dungeons video. I'll hit that link in the description down below for everybody um, So go check it out subscribe to his channel subscribe to Nick over at Movie AV Impulse for the recommendation on that. Thank you, Nick um, so yes, be sure to check them out and uh, Until next time. I hope everybody has a blessed week and hopefully I'll have another video in the next couple days for you. Have a good one.